Hello and welcome to this Azure Cloud Concepts and especially the benefits and consideration of using cloud services. In this lesson, we will be looking at capital expenditure versus operational expenditure. What we are really going to uh, look at in this session or in this lesson would be the difference in cost building and operating our own data center versus using Microsoft Azure services. Uh, we are uh, building our own data center assume that um, this would be the normal scenario where we would be we would be thinking about to uh, build our data center so that means we have to think about our cooling requirements and uh, also the energy and most efficient of our carbon uh, footprint and water uses and capacity of power we're gonna uh, need for our data center and the cooling capacity the amount of the physical space the number of computer cycles which uh, you could think in terms how the powerful of our servers are all these uh, were not only have to think about for our current load in our system and uh, for our applications but we have to think about future capacity as well uh, so within our data center we are always in this mindset um, to having expand our, our capacity in, in some way or other way to keep uh, for the future demands and what goes along with this is uh, inventably is higher upfront investment or a higher cost just to do all these things let's look at uh, this in the sense of how these expenditure release to a data center or rela related to data center of our own versus with microsoft azure services so opening and running uh, your own data center are really more indicative of capital expensive of uh, when I say more capital expenses, uh, the capital expensive means your money and resources. So that the capital expensive is an upfront uh, investment. You're paying money upfront for something, and that something is usually a permanent asset for you, uh, such as a land or maybe a data center or construction of your data center building or the servers uh, within your own premises. And purchasing uh, bringing uh, the benefit of uh, over a long period of time that's the main benefit uh, when you have on premises but so it might take a few years for you to you know, build uh, the entire data center to get built and become operational and finally start uh, providing a profit for you and because a lot of these capital expenses are upfront they are usually not recurring costs and this means that usually just pay one time upfront and you are done paying was just a recurring like a monthly or yearly cost or, or something like that let's take a look at uh, one of these uh, images and try to understand about uh, what happens if we try to open our on-premises data center is the first one would be we need to pay for licensing costs for the software for that service what we had and we have to look at the actual service themselves to have to buy all of those in upfront and also the power we would have not only to pay for the power utilities coming into our data center uh, but all our backup generation um, equipment and the same for the cooling we would have to make an upfront investment for cooling equipment as well as ongoing maintenance for these investments for cooling and that would have make a large upfront investments in real uh, estates just for uh, the land and the data center is on well we have to make large upfront investments by considering all these when we look at for even the including the physical security for our data center so we have a plan for we should have even plan for the disaster recovery within our on premises so we need to make a more redundancies into our data centers and that would um, even cost more upfront and we would have to have a large IT support team or staff to manage and maintain our data centers we would have to uh, have more training costs for our staff to uh, support and manage and maintain our data center so it's not just limited to that the cost would come up like a hidden cost so to speak or of operating your own data center 
uh, it's not just buying the servers and paying for the power there's a whole uh, swatch of cost associated with uh, running your own data center and with all of these upfront investments put together you can see how this uh, usually adds up a quite a bit of investment for your uh, people most of uh, most of the people now on their hand Azure Cloud provides a much simplified model uh, within this uh, as a subscription model. So what we are going to do is we are going to take the subscription. So that's uh, nothing nothing but the operational expensive or operating expensive. Well, unlike capital expensive, operating expenses are not upfront investment. They are usually a recurring cost. So example, uh, a cost of your, your cable TV or internet bill or maybe a cell phone TV a cell phone bill or cell phone services uh, which you normally pay or a power services or power utility a bill what you pay similarly this recurrence or recurring recurring expenses would be charged for you based on the subscription fee for what you use only you have to pay so pay only only you, whatever you use the resources for that only you're gonna pay for it so there's no upfront investment you didn't buy any permanent assets but you get an intermediate benefit out of these things and you get a benefit of the period of the time that you use the resource so you only pay for the amount that you used so if you look at the image uh, at the bottom of uh, now and compare the cloud and on-premises data center we can see the whole lot of less cost uh, right off the bat so within our subscriptions to cloud provider we are able to provisional the resources that is uh, that is what we needed uh, when we need them and only pay uh, for what we are using on a monthly basis so the amount of the capital expenditure that have to put into is very slow and very low in fact um, sometimes it could be nothing upfront at all uh, like with azure and we we could uh, just pay our first monthly bill for whatever we used that will allow us to also reduce the idea support uh, staff as we need uh, as well as the training now let's think about some of areas where uh, where that we could eliminate right away uh, off the bat if we switch to azure things like physical security for data center if we had uh, a place for that we would no longer uh, need that role because the physical security is managed by Azure, uh, Azure and their data centers, not by us. So it's the responsibility of Microsoft altogether. Also within IT support, we might have or uh, had uh, staff those uh, job was to replace uh, faulty hardware within the data center. Well, once we once we no longer have data center on our own and start using azure we no longer need the role as well uh, since the azure maintenance staff will be performing hardware upgrades and the fixes instead of our staff and so you can see the difference now between a capital expenditure and operating expenditure capital expenses being upfront investment that usually don't recur they usually result in purchase of uh, purchasing of something permanent and they create a benefit for a long period of time versus uh, our operating expenditures which are not a front investment but rather recurring cost and they create immediate benefits for usually don't result in uh, permanent assets we can refer back uh, to our image with the left side and think about the expensive uh, planning items that we no longer have to consider or think about uh, as we move to azure as well and the main benefit that uh, brings about is that we can spend less time worrying about it management and data center management and we could uh, spend a quality time uh, on focusing on our uh, business and so with azure we get the ability to do by uh, shifting our it process from capital expenditure to uh, heavy model to operating expensive model heavy model like we see in this images you see this big one uh, transformed to a lower one uh, which is uh, more powerful and you don't have much things to worry about and all you have to pay is just a subscription fee uh, that way you can manage your uh, 
services. So I hope this video has helped you to understand about CapEx and OPEX or the operational expenditures. Thank you for watching this. I'll see you in the next lesson.